per home, <laughs> like properly. So, you know, I'm really good at organizing shit and obviously also catering. Yeah, I remember seeing Wasp Live, you know, actually, I never saw him live, but uh, I saw the live video and, and uh, Black Lola was throwing like raw meat at the audience. We had a sausage cheese. Yeah, but, you know, sometimes I see these guys running around and sweating and, you know, playing their asses off. And I kind of feel sorry for them, so why don't I just, you know, grill some food for them while I'm at it, you know, because I have time to do it. So, <clears throat> this summer I, we tried this brand new catering technique for, so that I was like grilling some sausages. They had their energy level back up there and they were like really, really kicking asses. So I think we played the best encores ever this summer because I was, you know, organizing the catering. And also, also I was able to feed some fans. <laughs> which, which is always good because they look really hungry sometimes, you know. So. And after the show, it's uh, usually usually you're you're having so much fun during the show, so you might get a little drunk <laughs> during the show, and uh, and then after the show, you usually have a really good feeling, so you keep on drinking, and then you end up being drunk. If we have a good show, I'm already drunk when the so show ends. So I, I guess it's a little bit different for me than the other guys. The other guys get drunk when the show ends, but I'm already drunk because I'm drinking while playing. And then the sad thing about tour, touring, the sad thing, is that uh, usually the buses, especially in the States where the distances between the cities are so long, the bus leaves quite early after the show, so there's no way to hang out in the venue or whatever. So you just have to get on the bus and then, then drink with, with the band and the crew. Good bus party. That's blast, you know. Sure, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Yo, Dre. What's up? Give me a funky ass baseline. <sighs> I got a fucking dollar in my goddamn forehead, so fuck you. This is before and after. Alright? <laughs> I'm just doing my job, man. Go on, go to the rose, Mr. Howie. Hey! Ah, fool! Well, the future for the band, I don't know, man. I mean, I don't really like to plan stuff ahead anyway. All I know right now is just that, okay, right, we're gonna tour our fucking asses off forever. As long as we could, we can, uh, we can have fun on tour like we're doing now, even though we're touring a lot. And as long as we can be proud of the music we're doing and uh, actually enjoy the music where we're playing, then I think we're, we're quite fine. The band just signed a new record deal, which is like three albums. And I hope, and if, if everything goes well, we keep on doing what we're doing. We put out another, another album or something. And then the same shit. I think I'm uh, I'm burning the stakes here. 
at the moment I'm just uh, looking forward to, to do these tours that was already booked and then, then start to work on the new, new material. If we are still alive, if we are not dead yet, then I guess it would be really nice to concentrate on some new stuff. I have to say about the future for myself. Mutta ketään tässä häiritse siis. Ihmiset ei vaan nyt jaksa kuunnella. Ihmiset ei jaksa kuunnella. Ei, Onhan ei. nyt joku tuon verran kumminkin tykännyt. Joo, joo mutta se on hyvä, että sä oot saanut rahaa. Mä jos saan sen kitara siitä ja muuta, niin laitan se tonne. Ja... Otat sä noin rahat tosta ja laitan takin. No, sä voit ne laittaa siitä. Kasa, mä laitan ne tonne auton kyytiin. Sä saat nää sitten ne kohti. Niin, no joo, ne olisi tietysti kiva saada. Joo, mutta... joo, joo. 